Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Henry, and uh, there is my Chinese name and my student number. And my topic of today, uh, the presentation is similar to my essay, is the uh, Chinese interior design changed by the globalization. Yeah. Uh, I have three parts of my presentation. Uh, the first part, I will uh, analyze about the uh, materials the steel uh, affect the ch Chinese interior. And uh, the next part, the second part, I will show some data about the inter investment from abroad. And the last, uh, I will uh, discuss about the new styles and uh, technology uh, influencing Chinese design area. Now, let's start with the first part, the material. Uh, as we know, the steel is the foundation of the building, and the, the, it's also the foundation of the interior design. Uh, let's see this table. This, sh this table shows the uh, production of the uh, steel production of the Chinese, and it shows it's increased uh, all the years. Well, let's see the, now, uh, another table. Table two. Uh, the table two is same as table one. It uh, uh, keeps increase all the time, but uh, the table two is the crux of the uh, steel. That's meaning uh, the Chinese, uh, the Chinese, uh, even Chinese have more uh, increase the uh, production of the uh, steel, but. Uh, the Chinese market still rely on the uh, foreign uh, globalization market. Then let's move on to the next part, the investment. Uh, this is an investment from the in development country. It's a remarkable point in there. Is uh, to uh, 22. Uh, this year, and before this year, there is no investment come from abroad in China. Uh, but uh, after this year, uh, have many uh, investments from the globalization. Because in this year, uh, Chinese enjoy a uh, organization named the World Trade Organization. It's WTO organization. It's because of the organization too. Uh, okay, lastly, I will discuss about the, the third part, the new styles. This is Guangzhou Opera House. It's an important, important opera house in China. And uh, the designer, not a Chinese designer, uh, it's uh, Zaha Hadid. It's a uh, Outstanding British designer. Uh, this shows the cooperation with the different country and uh, uh, the and uh, uh, the Chinese designers and uh, the foreign designers uh, cooperate together and finish this work. It's because of the globalization too. But uh, lastly, I will show something else. This is the uh, Zaha designed this too. It's the uh, 2020 Olympic Games in Tokyo. It's the national uh, national stadium. Uh, however, in the Japanese, it shows different situation. Japanese designers uh, uh, have very, very much designers uh, hold the against the point about this uh, because they think this building is not suitable for Japanese culture and uh, it, it, it's too expensive, cost too many mo money foundation of the uh, fund of the government <coughs> then the government cancel this, cancel this building too um, so I think uh, my conclusion is here. It's in uh, interior design in China was influenced by the of uh, globalization. It's obviously 
the globalization affect the, affect the Chinese in every area. And, uh, but however, uh, should we accept all of the culture from the another country? Uh, I think we should consider uh, consider about that, like Chinese, like Japan. Um, we need to pick up something suit for us and uh, to get something uh, we shouldn't need. We need it. So, there's my presentation. Thank you. Any questions? Any questions? So, the logo is designed by you, H. Yeah, H from Harry. Oh. It's like a uh, rent house uh, <laughs> local. Okay, okay. 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 It's, okay. it's a, like a park of a helicopter. Okay. Thank you. Oh, it could be the reserve. Helicopter. Reserve. Or it could be the reserve. 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 Mm -hmm. I mean, rather not to make others uh, take it from you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah.